Leicester is really well known for many things, including its football club, Richard III, the National Space Centre, but not many people know that it's the second most excavated Roman town in Britain after London. The Roman society in the ancient times was incredibly diverse and multicultural and so is Leicester. So I feel like whilst a lot of people see Leicester as the city of King Richard III, it's also the city of Roman ruins. We started working with Classics for All in 2014 because uh, there were very few state schools engaging with Classics and we thought it would be fantastic to give more pupils the chance to engage with the classical world in some form. When we first started working with Classics for All in the University of Leicester, we started running what we called Classics Clubs after school. So children could sign up and they could attend a club and they learned quite a lot about Roman Leicester using um, University of Leicester's resources. And they also learned quite a lot about uh, the uh, Greek and Roman God and it was so successful. I'm interested in classics because it's got its relevance today, like the story of Demeter and Persephone and how the seasons chip into that and it explains science too. When I'm older I want to be an aeroplane engineer and I know that modern physics originates from Greek ideas so Classics will really help me benefit and achieve my goal. Latin is really important for, for your um, studies in English and French as, as you can infer like questions because of the cognates between um, three languages. It's really lovely to be able to give back to my students the opportunities that I had which particularly in Leicester I and mean, in the East Midlands, there's not a lot of state school provision in classical studies. I like classics because of the, uh, the gods, uh, because of the missing legends and because the gods have um, human-like qualities and it tells you a lot about human nature. So what's Chaos. an epithet? It's a title based on a certain quality such as Poseidon the Earthshaker. Good, Poseidon the Earthshaker, OK? Being part of the Lionheart Academies Trust has allowed us this opportunity in the first place. So our two schools have, have grown it really slowly. Cedars began just with the classics, then began Latin, and now Martins has taken on Latin as well. It's been such an exciting opportunity for our learners. We're certainly looking at growing it. It helps to raise aspirations. It gives them a taste of uh, studying something at university that they might not have thought of. We decided as a trust that what we should do was introduce something in Year 7 that meant that all children, whether they signed up for a club or not, experienced classics as a subject. Really, we couldn't have done it without the support of Classics for All or University for Leic of the University of Leicester. Although I'm an English specialist and it did initially seem quite daunting, the um, uh, training provided by the charity Classics for All and the staff at Leicester University have made it so enjoyable that it's actually made it very easy to teach. For somebody who's been teaching for so long, to have a new challenge in their career is the same that we encourage in our students to challenge themselves, and I'm really enjoying it. In the future, I would say, probably in about five years' time, I would absolutely love to see that classical civilization is a permanent part of the curriculum. My vision for the future in terms of classical education at Lionheart is that we'll secure um, a pathway which means that students can access the classical world and classical education at any point throughout their 13-year journey through one of our schools. And we're very excited uh, to be offering um, next year classics to 1,500 students in uh, a local academies trust. We hope that will grow each year and we hope in the future that every child in Leicester will have the opportunity to engage with classics in some form. If I was on Mount Olympus and could see 10 years down the line, I would really like to see the study of um, classics consolidated in as many state schools as possible. I've seen how it's inspired the students at my college. I would like it to be available at GCSE and I would like it to be available for these students to study further at university as well. <laughs>